After discovering recently that the metalised film uh, capacitors can actually lose capacitance value over time uh, due to uh, damage to the metalisation in the plastic film itself, I thought it would be interesting to dig out an ionizer, a mountain breeze ionizer, and actually check some of the capacitors. And this is the one out of my bedroom, um, and it runs all the time. And I notice for a start that the indicator, as is so common with the mountain breeze ones, is absolutely black. Not just the, the sort of the sleeving around the resistor is just really ridiculously black, but the lamp itself, um, I've wondered if it even worked because it, uh, you know, I never even noticed it lit. And it's just, you know, it's needing replaced. <coughs> so. At the same time, I'm going to check these needles for sharpness and probably push them through a wee bit more because they tend to recess and flush the unit uh, to probably mainly to, um, for safety, I'm not sure if there's uh, any benefit to having them so far re recessed and other than that. But I prefer the needles to stick out a bit, so that's what I'll be doing. So um, I shall be doing that right now. So I've nudged these needles through. Now you can actually clean them just by wiping your fingers, which is handy, because they do gather dust in the end. Uh, I've made my new Neen indicator, which I'm using two 220k resistors in on 240 volt mains, because that'll spread the dissipation across them, and it'll also really reduce the current uh, through the uh, lamp. And it also increases the voltage rating, because there's two uh, resistors effectively in series in the circuit. Uh, it's an orange knee indicator. The original was blue, but that's uh, the blue ones tend to uh, lose their colour quite quickly. They tend to go sooty inside, especially when driven quite hard, like this one has. The other thing I've done is uh, pulled the voltage multiplier out and test it. And I'm glad to say that in these old mountain breeze ionizers, the capacitors all get a good connection here. Capacitors in every single stage of the voltage multiplier measure 10 nanofarads, so uh, they're all absolutely fine. So now I'm going to put it all back together. Okay, that's it, reassembled, and now I'm just going to stick it in the case. So I'll put this in here, and I shall set this into position. The Adhesive tape at the back is still pretty sticky, so I'm just going to stick it back onto its own adhesive tape. Then fold this little indicator around and clip it into its holder. Is that going to hold? I think it is going to hold. Yes, it is. It's going to hold. Keep those wires tucked well away from the high voltage needles. And that should be it. Just clip it back together and job done. Turn the power on and I should have a little glow of orange neon light and my now sticky outy needles. Is that uh, going to go back in together properly? Yes it is. There we go. Plug it in. Mm. Nothing went bang. There's my little neon lamp flickering away visibly to the, to the naked eye as well. That's what neons do. Oh, and the needles are hissing nicely. So um, I'm getting my ionisation off the tips of these, and they're cleanable now. And I have to say, the Neen indicator um, was running at about 2 milliamps with a quarter watt resistor, which was dissipating about 0.4 watts. So that was well over driven. The sleeving on it is absolutely crispy. Well, it just went scrunch, it's that crispy. Um, so that is then, you know, that's a common problem with the. Um, mountain breeze ionizers. In a sense, you're you're actually better off um, if you can open the case because they're glued shut. Just cutting these indicators off. You don't need the indicator. You can hear hear the uh, ionization and the slight hiss when you go up to the needles. But the weakness has always been their neon indicators. It's a bit bizarre that. But yeah, good result altogether. 